From LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your four stimulus check update of 2021. A deal is happening, but was a deal reached overnight? I have the latest details then. What are Americans knowing about this recon and are what are they not knowing? I have the latest breaking details. The Price is Right broadcast media says a deal was reached overnight with $1.7 trillion. Is it accurate reporting or is it inaccurate? I have the latest breakdown. Programs in and programs out. The biggest comprehensive report you've seen in nearly two days. I have nearly 12 to 20 programs I'm going to run over where they're coming in and where they're going. Great news as a lot are staying in there. Student loan debt, more debt could be forgiven this week. I have the breaking details of that as well. And then we have COLA. Your raises are going up, but get ready for this stimulus right behind that. And then this channel turned a year and a half old yesterday. What have we learned about ourselves and our community going forward? I have a retrospective and a look forward. It's a big morning as I have a huge update, about 12 to 20 programs telling you how much, how many years, how much it's going to pay over, which plan of Medicare, which plan not of Medicare. Boy, it is detailed reporting. It's coming up in this broadcast. Programs are staying in. It's looking really good. The deliciousness is starting. We're just missing some bacon. The toast is toast and the butter is butter and the coffee is brewing. And this is Mornings at Elect. Morning, everybody. It is torrential rain here in Southern California, so sorry for the darkness on the set. Broadcast media, the number three broadcast channel in America, told Americans this morning a deal was reached overnight with Joe Manchin and the price tag $1.7 trillion. Incorrect reporting. No such deal was reached by the president. In fact, the president's still at $2 trillion, and there was no deal reached with the recon because there's certain programs. There's still battleground right today. So which programs are in and which programs are out? Where are they going? I have the latest details. Student loan debt. More debt could be forgiven this week. Whose debt is coming? Uh, besides the rain that's certainly coming to Southern California today. Cola's going up, but what about this stimulus? It's right behind that. And then we look back at the first year and a half of this channel as we celebrated our big anniversary yesterday. And what does it tell us about a family going forward? I have all those details and more. And this is a big morning's recording. It's a lot in this recording. All throughout the day, you're going to hear an incredible amount of detail. So with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record, and 140 million views in a year and a half. Like this video, consider becoming a member, and consider becoming a member. I just said that. Purple Hawk for a Power Casino VIP to get that newsletter that comes out tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's go over this incredible recon, what it means for you, and what it means going forward. This recon will pay viewers on average about $15,000. The recon was originally at $3.5 trillion, passed by a subcommittee of the House several weeks ago. It's now somewhere around $2 trillion, but it'll still pay viewers on average about $15,000, and that is across several programs that are being passed. This is for seniors, single individuals, married couple, red states, blue states, everyone about that incredible amount of money. We're going to go through all the three clusters. We're going to go through the three add-ons, and we're going to have a lot of breaking news that starts right now. Cluster number one. We have no update yet about hazard pay, that earning income tax credit that broadens the eligibility, increases the amount of money across the board. We have no update about the elder care, the $4,000 of elder care to provide it per year, and up to $4,000 for young children as well. We have no update about the money for home repairs, believed to still be in there if you're in a low-income community, but we do have updates about the Pell's Grant. It is absolutely staying in there. It's going to the finish line. The Pell's Grant being made tax-free and more grants to college and universities and the college students as well, staying in there. The CTC, the Child Tax Credit, definitely staying in there, but it will not be 15 years. It'll be one year, 
$3,600 per child, low-income family. More about that later in this video. And then the bikes, cars, and trucks currently looking like it may stay in there as well. $7,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, U.S. auto manufactured. 15% for a new electric bike, U.S. auto manufactured. And then a little bit more if it's for business use, like a business truck or business car. The second add-on. Excuse me, the first add-on, which is from Maxine Waters, we have an update about this one. Maxine Waters looked to add a lot of money into this recon for housing. And yes, it's staying in there. Now, Maxine Waters asked for $25,000 of an add-on for the purchase price of a new elect of a new first-time home buyer. Not likely to last at $25,000, too rich. So there will be another number, but it won't be $25,000. But the big news is that Maxine Waters had wanted to try to get $250 billion into this recon for housing. It was removed on Thursday. Shock, horror. Then Friday, it got back in at $100 billion. Then it got into $150 billion. You can see in the second half of this video, it's at $175 billion. Great news. This is money for, for housing, for rent, for utilities and mortgage assistance. Wow, let's go to the second cluster checks. And here we go, big surprises today on mornings about these. Let's go over the provisions first. Paid family leave, paid childcare, household tax credits, uh, pre-kindergarten, tuition-free community college, and money to weatherize your house. Well, that weatherizing your house money is likely to stay in there. We have no update about that, but it's likely to stay in there. Tuition-free community college. The landscape looks like this. If you listen to the president, he said on Friday it's coming out. If you listen to Jollop on Wednesday, she said it's coming out. Nancy Pelosi say it's definitely staying in there. Insiders say it will stay in there zero to two years at the moment. Then the paid leave, it was on the battleground to be removed. This is Nancy Pelosi's provision. It's staying in there, but it's getting reduced. Great news for that. I have the details. How many weeks, how much money? And it's really incredible detail. It's coming up in the second half of this video. So it's staying in there as well. Now, let's go to the second add-on. Great news on this one. This one surprised me. The Bob Casey money for home health care. This was a provision that was the president reportedly asked originally for at $500 billion. Not happy at $500 billion. Then Bob Casey asked for it for $250 billion. This is for seniors and people on disability home health care. I had said last week, and I said, I don't know what's going to happen with it. Is it out? Is it in? I don't know. The good news is we have an update for it. It's coming up in the second half of this video. It's in. It stayed in. It's not 250. It's less, but they got it to stay in there. Great news on that as well. And that brings us to the third cluster, the most confusing cluster. And get ready for the second half of this video because I'm going to go over real big detail, like which Medicare plan and things like that in the second half of this video. So let's go over the programs first, the checks, and let then I'll go over the update, the broad stroke update. Free school meals for all checks, uh, tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication, checks for farmers, checks for clean energy, checks for free internet, checks for Medicare, like dental, vision, and hearing, and lowering the eligibility age for Medicare, and checks for workers. Okay, a lot of details on there. First, the prescription medication we thought maybe would come out because this was the uh, provision Sanim is against. It's still in there at the moment. It's getting hugely modified. Coming up in the second half of this video, I'll explain where. The dental, vision, hearing, definitely staying in either all of it most of it or all of it at a shorter duration. I have the latest detail on that. Big details. This is seniors' money. Staying in there for a moment, and it's absolutely going to stay in there. Then uh, the clean energy, the Joe Manchin provision, definitely coming out. And, uh, and so far, everything else looking like it's staying in there. Which brings us to a fascinating quote from Nancy Pelosi yesterday. Nancy Pelosi said that today she is going to be sending over to the Senate to ask them to provide them, to provide her what they want to add on. Pelosi said yesterday that the Senate starting today will, st will start to outline additional financial pro proposals they want to add to the recon, <laughs> which brings us to our third add-on, which is MSC. MSC. And that MSC, that IRS monthly stimulus check, still room to get it in there. And let's go over all the incredible details of this. 
You're going to see in the second half of this video that Ron Wyden today, Monday afternoon, will be introducing on the Senate side, he's a senator, he's a Democrat, will be introducing his own add-on to the recon about taxes. So senators are coming forward and saying, I got add-ons, and I'm adding them in there. And that's what Nancy says. If you have add-ons, start adding them today. This is why advocacy is important right now. We see in the second half of this video, legislature from the House side say, I have add-ons. I want to add stuff in there. No one's asked me. It's huge because when you look at this recon, the negotiators in this recon have been really four people. Remember in 2020, it was Nancy and, and Steve Mnuchin, but Steve Mnuchin never asked Mitch McConnell what he wanted. And Nancy Pelosi never asked, you know, uh, you know, Bernie Sanders, what he wanted. This time we have four people in the negotiations, Joe Manchin, the president, Nancy and Chuck, and sporadically Chris and Sinema and Bernie Sanders. Well, no one's asking what Omar wants. No one's asking what Liz Warren wants. And so there's opportunity to add stuff. Where? Before we have a House bill. After we have a House bill. Before we have a House vote. Omar's office told viewers last week that she'll add it on a monthly simple check provision after a House bill, but before a House vote. Then we have Liz Warren, Chuck Schumer, Bernie Sanders, uh, Ron Wyden, all saying that they're going to do it, that IRS monthly simple check. They can add it during the two-day voterama. The two-day voterama is on the Senate side. It's the very end of the process. And that's why it's important to push across the board until we're to the finish line. Let's read that incredible encouragement statement to us from the chief of staff to the number one senator to the equation. The message said the following. They now have in total between congressional and senatorial offices received more advocacy from L8 than the number of signatures in the American petition. That's three million. They now have a better understanding of what people are doing to get through this pandemic. It's been amazed by the outpouring of touching stories from your viewers, L8. They have many heartbreaking stories because of the L8 viewers. And now they have the voice of the people in you, L8, as you have become too loud to be ignored. Very, very kind. Let's read the second half of this message to us on camera because it concerns both you and I. Please continue your encouragement for the continued advocacy as you have become the professional voice of the people, Allied, and continue to push until this becomes law. Absolutely. We need to continue to push until it becomes law because, as you see, broadcast media butchering the story this morning, saying the deal was done. They're not done. They're still negotiating the provisions. Provisions out on Friday, in on Monday, out on Thursday, in on Monday. Things are moving by the hour. You need to push. You need to call every single senator you can call today advocating for that inclusion. Ron Wyden, Chris Coons, Bernie Sanders, Liz Warren, Chuck Schumer, Bob Casey. Advocate for that inclusion. And in the second half of this video, we have a lot coming up. We'll be going over every program that is in and every program that's out. This is all breaking news this morning, folks. We have a price tag of somewhere between 1.7 to $2 trillion. Absolutely. And that we're going to see no less than 12 to 20 programs update in the second half of this video. It's a behemoth. We're going to go over every program, the dollar figure and the number and the duration. It's details you haven't seen on this channel for nearly two days. It just came in minutes ago. It's a result of the negotiations from Saturday and Sunday. Those negotiations continue today. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late live And the excitement continues right now, direct from Santa Monica, as I hit a wrong button once again. <laughs> as we go into the second half of this video, so much happening across the board. Let's go over all the incredible details as we start a big afternoon show, as we start a big morning show. The $3.5 trillion recon is getting reduced to, to a smaller number. What does it mean for you? I have the latest details as we go into a big day. First, a deal's happening. 
that deal is absolutely delicious. It will be formulated throughout the rest of today. We have the latest details in the second half of this video. Then we cut to the big dramatics as Americans don't know what's in this recon. I'll have the explanation of what's going on then. Americans, price is right, 1.7 to 2 trillion where it'll land. I have the latest breaking down on this as well. And then finally, programs in, programs out. Which ones are in and which ones are out? I have those incredible details and it starts right now. And with that, I'm really excited for you to join me on the second half of this video and subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record, hit that subscribe button right now. It is a dark, gloomy day here in Southern California with the rain coming on down. So you're gonna see a lot of strange lighting and just, technical difficulties across the board. So hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP to get that membership newsletter later today at seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And with that, let's go into the dramatics of what's unfolding right now. The president met with Joe Manchin in Delaware yesterday, and those negotiations were about your recon. Immediately this morning, broadcast media came out with a major news story from the number three broadcast channel sent out to the new local news affiliates across the country. Deal. 1.7. Done. Joe Manchin. Here's what's in there. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Every single thing in the report was inaccurate. There was no deal with Joe Manchin overnight. Number one. Number two. The price tag is not 1.7. Number two. Number three. The programs are still being negotiated. So what did the president get with Joe Manchin last yesterday? The president got Joe Manchin to agree to corporate tax rate and agree to wealth tax, which Joe Manchin always said he was going to do. So it's not like a lot was achieved yesterday. Uh, so let's come back to normality. <laughs> let's come back into reality right now. And let's go over this incredible recon. A new poll says the Americans don't know it's in the recon. You wonder why? <laughs> because broadcast channels cannot get the details right. Uh, the price is right, 1.7 to 2 trillion. It's likely to still stay at about 2 trillion because remember, that's a $300 billion drop from 2 trillion to 1.7. It costs you about one to two programs or one and a half programs dropping from 2 to 1.7 trillion. At the moment, we're still at 2 trillion. And which programs are in and which programs are out? Are you ready for the dramatics? Here we go. Get that pen and paper ready. This is a lot of information. Get ready for information overload. First, child care tax credit. They wanted it 15 years for four, uh, and then they wanted it four years, and they wanted it for fewer or Americans who made $110,000 or less, not getting it. So it's going to be one year for individuals who make $60,000 or less. Sharon Brown, Democrat of Ohio, says, imagine you're a Republican politician running for office next year and a voter from Lima, Ohio, that comes up and says, that child tax credit has really changed my life and made it a lot better. What are you going to do? You're going to cancel it? I think it speaks for itself. Well, it does because it's too expensive. You can't do more than one year. So currently one year, $60,000 or less, parents qualify. $3,600 or $3,000 for that year. Community college, free community college. They wanted it lifetime. It's currently out or in for two years. Biden said it was out on Thursday. Broadcast media is still running that quote. Jalapal said on Wednesday it was out. Broadcast media is still running that quote. Those are outdated quotes. Nancy Pelosi is the most recent update on the quote. She said it's staying in there. Pell's grant, um, in there. So this is huge. The money for college students, definitely staying in there, all staying in there. Then, when we come to Medicare expansion, uh, they had looked to drop Medicare from 65 to 55. Bernie's where, Bernie wanted it at 55. Bob Casey wanted it at 60. We don't know the status at the moment about that, but it looks like it is dropping. Then, the dental vision and hearing, uh, the seniors' money, Definitely staying in it there at the moment, but very, very complicated. Why? Pelosi explained what I've been telling you over the last two days, which is dental is very expensive. It's very expensive. That's the first issue. The second issue is that dental, if you pass the law today, dental would not become a law, over, would not become effective overnight. It takes a while to ramp dental up in the Medicare program. So that's why they are talking about vouchers short term of $800 a year until they get dental into the program after it becomes law. 
Uh, Medicare expansion is still part of the, and the negotiations. Pay and leave. Wow. This is the Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi provision. This is your wife is pregnant. You have to stay home from work or your son broke his leg. You have to stay home from work. So new details you've never seen before on this one either. They wanted 12 weeks, everyone, self-employed and gig workers to get it. Whoa, we never knew this before. So they wanted it 12 weeks of paid leave. And even if you're self-employed or gig worker, meaning let's say you're an Uber Lyft driver and your wife's pregnant, you would get 12 weeks of paid leave. And they wanted to run for a decade at a price tag of $500 billion. Yeah, as soon as I got to the $500 billion, you know it's not happening. Anything that's $500 billion, not happening in this recon. Too expensive. So big cut on this one. It's staying in there, but it's not going to be for self-employed. It's not going to be for gig workers. It's going to be for four weeks only, and it's going to be for employees only, and it'll only be for low-income individuals. And that'll cost about $100 billion. Pelosi says it's our hope. We're fine to keep it in there. I don't know how they're going to do it for low income, maybe based upon the salary of the employee. Tax hikes. So this is very fascinating. Raising corporate tax rates and rich person's tax rates or taxes was going to raise about $600 billion. President Michael Joe Manchin on Sunday, Manchin said yes. He's always said yes. It's not a surprise about this. Sinema uh, is being proposed. Sinema is against both of them. So I don't know what the president's doing on this one. He, he does not have Sinema on it. He's never had Sinema on it. So the president's doing alternatives, which are corporate minimum rates, unrealized gains for wealthy, and a corporate loopholes. Sinema likes all those. The president's proposing to raise $600 billion out of that. I don't know if he can. But Ron Wyden, the senator from, uh, from the Democratic Party, is introducing legislation today that would... Uh, on the Senate side that would require people who have more than $1 billion in wealth and have earned more than $100 billion for the last three years to pay taxes on the assets they own, even if they don't sell them. Wow. Cheaper prescription medication. So the cheaper prescription medication, we thought this was out. This is a, a Sinema provision. They are not removing it. They have some backups. The backup is lower prescription medication on just Medicare Part B medication, not the other Medicare medication. Then childcare, they're looking to keep it in there. It's a very costly provision, but they're looking to do a backup on it. Clean energy, definitely out. Uh, but they're looking to do some emission cut, cuts provisions that are in there as well. Health insurance credits, they wanted them longer, but they're saying them shorter. shorter. Housing aid, great news on this one. It was, it was $300 billion. That's a maxing waters provision. It was out by Wednesday. It was in by Friday at 100, then 150 by Saturday. Now it's at 175. And then the Bob Casey, the home health care, home in home health care, health care for people on disabilities and seniors. They wanted it at 400 billion. I did not know they wanted that high. Bob Casey, as you've seen from the graphic, went at 250. They looks like they can get it in there at 100 billion to 200 billion. Less, but they're getting it in there. See a reoccurring theme? Yeah. If the provision is five hundred billion, it's not surviving at five hundred billion. If it can get in at a hundred to two hundred or two fifty, it's going in there. So Joe Manchin, just like I told you over the last seven days, is has been Nirvana. Why? He's a straight shooter. Says uh, Rokana today. Who's the problem? Still. Kristen Sinema. Why? She's running away from talking about the recon. She won't even address the recon. What do you like? What do you don't like? She won't tell people. Grocon appeared on Fox News Sunday where Chris Wallace said, Senator Manchin, hey, he is a straight shooter. You know exactly what Joe Manchin, uh, where he stands. He, if he, I disagree with him on the areas, but I respect him, says Grocon. Meaning that you know what you're getting and you know how to negotiate with, with Joe Manchin because he tells you. But my concern is with Santa Sinema, says, uh, says Rokata. Why are the rules different for her? She doesn't go on shows like yours, Chris Wallace. Why does she explain to everyone, to everyone what she wants and what she doesn't want? Uh, very interesting. Pelosi says, our side, we've been ready with alternatives. We're ready with alternatives in terms of House and Senate and White House. We have plenty of alternatives. Sound familiar? Yeah, it does sound familiar. Like that ad, like those add-ons, that MSC IRS stimulus check. Ready for a lot of alternatives. Time to push. And that's Pelosi said on Sunday that the Senate will start outlining alternative financing proposals right today. 
And then Pelosi explained the dental. Dental takes a long time to implement after it becomes law. So we're told by people about these things, it takes five to six years in order to implement the dental after it becomes law. So how do we fill in the blanks here? Let me explain the details as I go over what they've done with these provisions in the last two days. Um, the provisions have been quite complicated. And some of these are really, really elaborate. Let's go over each of them starting right now. So uh, when asked where the dental vision hearing was coming out, Bernie said, no, <laughs> never coming out. That's what the American people want. Omar says this is one of the five priorities of the progressive party. We're not taking them out. If you start taking them out, then it becomes dicey. We had seen that. Uh, paid leave was on the chopping block on Friday. Today, it's back in. And even it shows you how tenuous the situation is. Don Hucklebridge, a director of paid leave for all, said it's inconceivable and unconscionable that there was actually a risk of on the chopping block of paid leave coming out. So it survived. Then uh, the president on Thursday appeared on broadcast media to CNN and said, Joe Manchin doesn't want the doesn't want the dental vision and hearing. The president's using a blame game wherever possible. But here's what's a very important message for you. It's very very important quote. The press secretary says that these programs have never existed before in our society. This is why it's important for you to understand that when we took when we talk about this recon that that will pay you upwards of fifteen thousand dollars. These are programs you've never seen before. You don't know the names of them. You've never seen them. You've learned about them over the last few weeks on this channel. But they've never existed on the map ever in this country. And that is why it's very exciting. Paying you upwards of $15,000. No way for you to compare it to first, second, or third symbols because these are brand new programs. Never existed in the landscape of the country. And when they become law, boy, you're going to be able to pounce and get that money. Now, let's go over a little bit more about what happened uh, going into even today. We had House Ways and Means Chairman Richard Neal on Friday saying that all the policy outcomes we've agreed upon. I said that was untrue. Now we know it was untrue, absolutely untrue. So what was he trying to work on? He's trying to work on the revenue side, which is uh, the Sinema provisions like international corporate tax rate. The Stephanie Murray quote is very, very important for us. It's Florida Representative Stephanie Murray who says, you know what? I haven't been part of the negotiations. Mm -hmm. I, it, this is the quote. I think it would be very wise to engage with me and see why I have something to say. We need to make sure that everyone's concerns are heard and understood. There's significant focus on the House, Senate members. Well, how about the House members? What's she talking about? It's important to understand what's going on right now. We have negotiations among really four people. Nancy, Chuck, the President, and Joe Manchin. And sporadically, Chris and Sinema and Bernie Sanders. And that's it. You don't have Omar in the negotiations. Omar certainly wants to do a lot of stuff and adds a lot of stuff for you. You don't have Liz Warren in the negotiations. She certainly wants to add a lot of, into, the nego into, the, into the package. What is this like? It's like Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin in 2020. Steve Mnuchin going into negotiations and Mitch McConnell saying, you know what asks me what I want. I'm the one who's actually voting on it on the House, on the Senate side. Steve Mnuchin's not a senator. I, I, have, a, I have a say oh, it's the one I want to put in this. And so it's important to understand this is where add-ons come on in because these other House members haven't been part of the negotiations. Senators haven't been part of the negotiations. They have the opportunity to add those things in there across the board. Let's go a little bit more over some of the details of some of the other programs, where they're going and where they're not going. Uh, we have the price tag, which is very important to the equation. Two trillion one seven one nine doesn't really affect us, but two trillion to one seven is three hundred billion dollars. That pays for one to two programs, sometimes three programs, currently on the landscape, because you see a lot of programs coming in this recon at 100, 150, 120. So three hundred billion dollars is a big cut, but still the president's keeping it about two trillion at the moment. The president's being decisive, is showing leadership, says Debbie Dingle. He, it's gonna get done. And there's a real consensus, uh, says Patty Murray. Only thing that makes me trouble is the following. Why did the president meet with Joe Manchin in Delaware on Sunday? To get progress. But why else? You're only going to hear this on this channel. The president's out of town this week. Out of town? I don't like the president out of town at the 11th hour. Why? Because the progress we've achieved in the last seven days has become, is because of the president. Why? Over the last few months, there have been some administration officials that have been very stubborn. 
wouldn't take provisions out until the president said, take it out. He's the, ultimately the guy that says, take it out. The administration official says, no, I'm not taking it out until the president tells me. And what was that provision? For example, the clean energy provision. The reason why we didn't have Joe Manchin on board for all these months was that official in the White House was not taking the provision out to the White to the president said, listen, you're taking it out. The only reason we have progress is when the president said, no, you can't do community college a lifetime. We can do it two years. You're not doing it for 10 years. <laughs> we know who that guy is in the administration. Uh, that There was a particular guy in the administration with a lot of money for education, and now it's costing $500, $600 billion. The president said, no, you need to take it out or reduce it. So I really like the president staying in town, and I don't like the president gone this week at all. So what are the other provisions? What do we know about them? I have some other provisions uh, coming out. SALT coming out. The push to lift the cap on state and local tax deductions out. Then uh, Obamacare subsidies staying in there. The vouchers for the dental might likely be used $800 a year. It's not a lot of money. Uh, it's not a lot of money, especially for seniors. It's It's fine for for other people, but this we're talking about people on Medicare. Eight hundred dollars does not pay for a lot of stuff, and not for a lot of uh, dental uh, procedures. And there you go. Um, what's important to understand is that the situation is very fluid, and you see how it's changed by the hour and by the minute. Recon president still focusing at two trillion provisions out on Friday, paid leave, and community college and dental vision hearing back in on a Monday. Things that are $500 billion in jeopardy, things that are $100 billion surviving, things that are $300, bring, $300 billion being brought down to 170 to 200 billion, things that are supposed to be five years being run at three years. While we originally talked about the prices right, a lot of the programs run at five years, most of the programs are looking at like at the moment, one, two, or three years. We don't have a lot of programs running at five years. The programs that were really at jeopardy were the programs that were 10 years. There is nothing that's surviving at 10 years at the moment. Absolutely nothing surviving at 10 years. And the longest you'll see a program in the recon so far at the moment is a five-year program. Uh, but many of the programs are one two or three year programs as they really tighten it up to add more things in there. I like it. I like it. I like the program shorter because that leaves more freedom to add more programs. Remember, if you have programs that are running four years, five years, six years, then you can't have a lot of programs. If you have programs running two, one or three years, then you have a lot of room to add a lot of other programs. All incredible details. Student loan debt, more debt could be forgiven. Boy, the president's offered additional $10,000, a student loan debt to be forgiven. That's on top of the three rounds he did before. Let's go over the details. The president says if he gives $10,000 of student loan debt on existing loans that he's forgiven, Democrats should take it. The president's not going to go higher, and that's all he said over the last year. The Democrats have been proposing $50,000. The president won't do it, so they should take the $10,000 and leave open the door to come back to ask more next year as well. Meantime, the president recently forgave student loan debt for individuals who became disabled after graduation. They've been forgiven. And then the president forgave student loan debts for individuals who went to work into the nonprofit sector for 10 years after graduation. Your debts have been forgiven. And the big one was the people who went to work in the public sector. Wow. Your debts have been forgiven if you worked in the public sector for 10 years after graduation. City, county, state, or federal government. Then... COLA, very exciting details as COLA is being raised up next year. Your benefits if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security. But don't stop there because you're going to see two other lifts after that. What's at issue? Your COLA benefits are going to be used. Your COLA benefits of 5 to 6% have been announced by Social Security Administration, meaning the check you're seeing right now, you're never going to see again. You're going to see a brand new, bigger check starting next year. But that's before fist stimulus comes in, and guess what? A big legislator has said, get ready for fist stimulus. He met with Nancy Pelosi just days ago, and his name is Representative uh, House Budget Chair John Yarmuth from Kentucky. He met with Pelosi, said, let's do the recon, let's do fist stimulus, let's do it right after four stimulus, and do it because it's great, it's not controversial, and it will force the Republicans to vote against us, vote against it and us, and it will be great for the midterm elections. Force the Republicans to vote against it, like Medicare expansion, child care, senior care, depending on what we decide. And I don't see the downside of it because it's things we're trying to do that are really popular. Under fifth stimulus, are going to raise your benefits up if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits. 
then they're going to buy a new benchmark. The new benchmark is inflation. And where's inflation going next year? Janet Yellen confirming. And so have uh, is uh, some FUD chairs, regional chairs, not the Fed chairman himself, uh, Fed heads, that inflation will not be transitory. It won't be temporary. It's going to go worse. The current inflation rate you're seeing right now is going to get worse. And that inflation rate is going to continue into next year. Where is it going to be? It will come back to where it was pre-pandemic level, about 2%. So that's good news for you for fist stimulus because they're going to replace COLA with this, with inflation. First, they're going to raise your benefits up if you're on COLA. Then they're going to apply a new benchmark. Uh, what, then they're gonna then they're gonna raise your benefits up a lifetime, an additional step. That's the second lift up, and then they'll apply the new benchmark in December of next year. That's your third lift up. You'll get three lifts of your benefits in one year. And remember, once you step up, you never step down. They're gonna remove the asset cap, remove the income cap, and remove the marriage penalty. And love is gonna win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. No time to cover third stimulus in this video because of the running time. But if you haven't become a member, consider becoming a member today. The newsletter comes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system and the LA Late alert system, which is totally free. It's also in the description of this video, news.la.com forward slash alerts. It details all the big money on the first, second, and third stimulus you can get. $40,000 for rent, $15,000 for utilities, and money for SNAP, upwards of $26,000. Viewers are continually getting that money. If you got it as well, send me a private message. And finally, as we look back on the one and a half year anniversary of this channel from yesterday, what have we learned going forward? A lot. We've learned a lot about ourselves and the community and the family as a whole. We've learned that there's a lot of people with a lot of different interests. And we have to be accepting of different people with different interests. This channel launched with me covering EIDL. It was about businesses. And PPB, it was about businesses or sole practitioners like Uber or Lyft drivers. And then also PUA and EUI. It was about people who were employed, who lost their jobs. Quickly, I became a big hit when I did a video with no less than about 10, 20,000 subscribers. That video was about SSI and SSDI. It went to 3.5 million views, one video. No one ever seen that in the history of YouTube for a channel so small. Why? Because no one was talking about your concerns. And then, as this channel grew, you saw me cover a lot of different types of people and a lot of different concerns. That's why we have to be inclusive and accepting of different people, because there are so many different people with different concerns. Whether you're on SSI or not on SSDI, whether you're a sole practitioner or not a sole practitioner, whether you're a business owner or not a business owner, whether you're employed or not employed, you have to be accepting and accepting of everyone and everyone every person, every, every, every ent entity that watches this channel. Because a lot of people have different interests, but we're all focused on the same progress. Getting from point A to point C. Getting better, being financially independent, and getting the money developed for us in these recons. The current recon, $15,000 for viewers across the board, whether you're single or not single, married or unmarried, kids or not kids, with children or without children, on benefits or not on benefits. A lot of money across the board. And that's where the commonality comes together. That's how we push together and fight for it together. And so with that, I encourage you to always be accepting and, 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 and inviting for people who may be different than you, but have the same focus as you. We all come from different swaths of life and we come together from across the country with different focuses. But ultimately, we have the same focus, becoming financially independent and going forward from there. Coming up next is Morning's Crypto, live on air at 10 a.m. Then we have a big noontime at 11 a.m. And then this afternoon, 1 o'clock afternoon's L.A., 3 o'clock afternoon L.A. This noontime and the evening show will be after some of the negotiations. So we'll see if the news cycle starts to change. I believe it will. The latest update you're seeing in this channel right now in this video today was based upon the negotiations from Saturday and Sunday, but in Earth this Monday. So negotiations are continuing right today. Time for you to advocate, especially those senators. As Nancy Pelosi sends it over to the Senate to have their input on the recon right today. That is why you need to reach out and advocate to Coons, Casey, Warren, Sanders, Schumer, and Wyden. And with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want your father's incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Vow, Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful morning. Join me next on Mornings Crypto starting in about five minutes. And stay with Ally for more.